love you. You almost me like? Don't try me. Yeah. <laughs> Grayson! Hey! Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you. That's a camera. That's you. <laughs> Peekaboo. No, you can't touch. You can't touch. Give me, give me hugs. Give me hugs. Oh, what, babe? I'll be back. Hey guys, not going to be anything super special today, but uh, welcome to NY Off Grid. We've had some unseasonably warm weather and uh, today is just gorgeous out. I couldn't help but go for a walk. So I'm going to bring you guys along real quick. We've got a lot of water flowing in the beaver pond and the creeks are roaring pretty good. Take a walk out on the ice and show you guys what the beavers have been up to. Some of their uh, discarded feed is surfacing because of the melting ice and snow. So I'll take you guys out there and show you that. And show you the rising waters. Uh, it's supposed to. It's probably almost probably about 50 degrees today. And. Uh, Tomorrow is supposed to drop back into the 20s, and then tomorrow night is supposed to be back down to 8 above zero. So this will all probably freeze back up. So I want to get you guys get you guys out here today so you can have a look at how much things have changed around here in just a, a week or so. The uh, edges of the pond here, I don't know if you can really see it, they're pretty much gone. There's no ice here. You step up on the ice there. It, uh, it's still pretty thick. I'll stop here. And reposition I got my coffee just got out of work about four o'clock in the afternoon right now starting to sprinkle again but like I said it's so nice I couldn't help but bring you guys out with me for a walk and we don't we don't always get days like this and especially this year it didn't seem like we'd ever be getting days like this again so Definitely got to enjoy it. So there's a beaver lodge. There's their food bed. That's the stuff they cut down in the fall and they bring it all out here and it kind of floats in the water and then freezes in and they come in under the ice and they eat away at it and they discharge them they, or discard them. They get rid of them. We, there's a couple of them that surfaced here. They're pretty fresh. There they are. A few of them there. A couple right there. More over here. You 
that open water right here. The, uh, the sticks, I think they kind of float under the ice and they find their way to the dam and and they eventually find their way out. We got a couple more here. There's one there that got frozen. You can see one under the ice there, you probably be able to see it. There's one they've been chewing on. But uh so yeah, that's that. Like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys out here before this all froze back up and we got some more snow or something and it covered it all up. The water's flowing really, really strong. Uh, the ice is still good and thick as far as walking on it. I don't think I'm going to take a chance as far as walking in certain spots where where the creek runs underneath. But uh, that's that. Uh, not much else going on today. Just a nice day to kind of take a walk and enjoy the warmth and get ready for the cold to come back. I guess it's not going to stick around. This weekend's supposed to be back up in the 40s. Uh, I haven't gotten the, the, the dozer out yet for the driveway, but it was pretty slushy today. And if it went one more day like this, I probably would have brought it out. But it's, like I said, it's supposed to get cold again, so it'll freeze it back up. So I'm not going to get the dozer out just yet. I will, uh, maybe this weekend, uh, it's just, it's a pain, it's an old, it's in the early 50s, the dozer is, and has a pony motor, which is a gas engine that, that it uses to start a larger diesel engine, and, uh, it starts easy for what it is, but still, if I don't have to start it, I try not to. But, uh, all right, I'm going to shut you guys down for now. Your canoe, that's popping out of the water more back there. But, uh, I'll bring you guys back in a minute. I'm going to, that looks like a nice picture right there. So I'm going to go ahead and snap a few pictures and I'll be back.